What's up, YouTube? It's the Ruby Ready here, coming at you with another part of Let's Play Spiral the Dragon. And last time we got 100% on the whole entire home area, and now we are going to be entering Stone Hill. And right now, this is actually a narration over um, the video that I just recorded. Uh, you will not believe what I just did. Um, I'm so mad at myself right now. Because what I like to do is I like to record my uh, voice with Audacity while I'm playing the game. So I got Audacity recording and my uh, video recording on my laptop at the same time. Um, I don't get any lag or anything. It's not like uh, it crashed or something like that on me, the Audacity. Uh, what actually ended up happening was I got everything done and recorded with. And then um, right when I was finished, <laughs> I um, hit X on the Audacity. Um, hit the X button. And I didn't save it, save the project or anything. And then right after I did it, I was like, <laughs> "Why the fuck did I just close that out?" I don't even know why. Like I, I was gonna close out the video recording software uh, thing because so, I didn't need it opened anymore. Um, and then I was gonna let the whole um, thing convert my file into a AMV or whatever I think it's called. Um, AMV. That's not what it's called, is it? WM or what, what, whatever you call the video or I mean the music file. I don't know what it's called. It's not an MP3 or whatever. It's something else. I think it's WMV. There you go. WMV file. But um, instead of hitting X on the video recording thing, I hit X on the Audacity. So the whole video file is gone and the original voice recording is gone so now I'm pretty much oh well, we got run into trouble not that you ever run into trouble Spyro oh okay we're back okay that was a little weird <laughs> my gosh dang it nothing's working for me right now the Windows Movie Maker, yes, I know I use a really shitty freaking program, but the Windows Movie Maker thing just stopped responding on me for like two seconds there, and I was about to start raging, but it came back somehow. It like lagged, it had a seri a little point point of lag there, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to record this for the third time now, but it's still going, so don't worry, you don't worry, you guys, don't don't worry, your little heads. Uh, um. I really wanted to like try and duplicate my audio now um, with what I was talking about during this moment right here. I was talking about like how weird they are. What is that thing? It looks like a bird with a beard and a cane. It's it's supposed to be a sheep herder, I assume. I mean there are sheep around and whatnot, but uh, I I I don't know what the face looks like. It looks like a duck. <laughs> Looks like a duck, or maybe it's like a uh, Elmer Fudd with the big nose. I couldn't think of anybody else with the big nose on a TV show except for Elmer Fudd. <laughs> if I could do the voice, I would. I know. Oh, shh. Gildas. Hello, my friend. How about a hit on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of the jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I know a lot of people that can do the Elmer Fudd voice, but I am definitely not one of them. But anyways, after that cutscene, he told you that the triangle button um, is actually to drop down, as you saw right there, I just used it. But um, in the next two games that I will be LPing after I 100% this one, the triangle button actually hovers a little bit. Um, he like does this little flutter thing with his wings that uh, let him in the air a little bit longer. And I absolutely loved that ability that they added to number two and three. It really made like really long flights. Like if you screwed up on it a little bit or something, it gave you a little bit of an extra chance to get back um, to make it. But yeah, it's not in this game, but I mean, you can't blame them. It's the first game of the series. But anyways, really don't know what I was talking about at this moment in the actual video. <laughs> I really wanted to duplicate my audio so bad because, like, I, I it was some good recording. Like, I felt like, yeah, it was pretty entertaining this episode. And then, freaking, had to go and screw it up. I'm so stupid. 
Oh, stupido. Oh, I can't. I bet you, you just caught that. I bet you, you just saw that. Because I just did. Okay, you'll see a little bit later on in the video. I end up not being able to find all the gems. And I'm like, oh, where, where's these last five gems? And I just saw myself jump over the freaking gem right there. So now I'm gonna have to watch myself go and uh, fail hard. <laughs> I'm trying to find gems and I just jumped over the gem. But all's well, it's rats guys, you can handle it. Um, I, now I remember what I was doing. I kept circling around making sure I didn't miss any gems because I was getting really pissed off. Oh, oh and the egg guy. The egg guy. Yeah, you saw me get the egg guy. <laughs> Let go. God, I'm feeling really hard at recording. I hate narrating. It's so horrible. And there's one gem. Oh, could have missed that one, right, guys? Didn't want to miss anything. But anyways, um, the egg guy. He is. If you haven't played a spiral game, um, which you, yeah, actually the the egg thing's only in this game. Although you do see him like reappear in the third one. He's not carrying eggs. He's carrying. Uh, well, he's carrying eggs, but the, when the third game comes, I'll probably talk about it a little bit more. But um, the little blue guy that looks like a uh, some Arabian person, I guess I could compare it to. Um, it's it has stolen the dragon egg, and you're supposed to go and um chase him down. Um, and then you pretty much get the dragon egg back. Um, it's really tiny though. In the third game, the eggs are like ten times bigger, and we're about to see a cutscene right here. So. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. What's <laughs> up with that neck thing? <laughs> Love that neck thing in that cutscene that he does. It's like extends his neck. Can be strong. Extends neck like me. <laughs> Don't know how that makes me look strong when I extend my neck, but makes me ten times more powerful but um yeah like I was saying in the third game the eggs are like ten times bigger and they look like completely different from the eggs in this game but um I don't I mean I understand why they probably changed it but I mean you go go, on, go from the first game to like the uh the third one and the eggs are like way too different to be similar but um whatevs brah you know what I mean nah, nah I mean and here's the point right here that I get derped on the gems. You will see me, uh, failsers a little bit. But I, it's okay, I'll cut it. I'll cut to when I get it in a second here. Right after I sing all along the watchtower. Because that's what I sang right here. But since I lost my audio, I was kind of mad. Because I thought that was... If you understand the reference, I thought that was pretty funny. Cause I'm sitting here looking for the gems and the watchtower, and you're in the big tower. You, you get you get my joke there. Yeah, I'm hoping you do. I can't really hear a response because I haven't even posted this video yet. But anyways, here's two of the gems, and here's the final gem. We will sneak up on it to nice and yeah, nice and slowly. And 200 out of 200 gems wasn't that difficult. It took me seriously like three minutes longer to find those gems. Luckily, they weren't too hard to find. And I can't believe I jumped over that one. Got me angry. But here's another cutscene. Asshole. Yeah, I'd rather not hear it. I'd rather not hear that song or whatever. Your story. Your story. I'd rather not hear your story. But yeah, that's a that is it, my friends. That's 200 out of 200 gems for that area. Like I told you guys in my previous video, if you haven't seen it already, please watch it. Um, I plan on getting every single gem in uh, every single world, 100% of the game. So stay tuned for some of that there. And next time we will take down Dark Hollow. So um, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to spin around in circles a little bit here. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I have like uh, five subscribers at the moment, so a little bit more subscribers would be really, really helpful. It's uh, 
and some more views would be helpful. It's not uh, not going too spiffy on my channel right now, but I'm hoping to get a little bit more of a uh, traffic on my channel with some of these Spiral Let's Plays. So once again, thanks for watching, rate, and I hope to see you guys in my next part.